Hello friends and welcome back for another episode of the Catacomb Kids Let's Play. Hope you're all doing well today. You should have heard the ridiculous crap that I was doing trying to intro this video. I don't know what the hell was going on with my brain, but for some reason I just sort of like forgot what my voice sounds like and started doing silly sounds. It's real dumb. I don't know what the hell is the matter with me. Anyway, let's play some Catacomb Kids. How about that? Um, so, I don't have a lot of new information to offer you on Catacomb Kids, I'm just gonna be completely honest. Other than, well, first, I wanna say thank you to all the people that have been giving me dedicatedly beautiful information, uh, that I will largely be disregarding, not to disrespect anyone, but, like, I'm just... I only grab a couple of bits, and today's bits are gonna be, uh, using rending weapons. I've heard that's a great thing. But you guys have been giving me tons of really good info, and I should be paying more attention... I'm just a scumdog millionaire, what can I say? Uh, anyway, we've got a shield this time, and also a leveling orb is like literally right next to us as soon as we started, so that's pretty good, right? Uh, what do we start with? We do speed, we do free run, and we enjoy a life of luxury free of rats. That is partially, you know, one of my favorite things about being alive is killing all the rats in the maze. When are these kids going to stop going in the catacombs? When is this going to happen for them? I feel like it's a really irresponsible move for them to keep coming in here every time. There's, now there's grumbles, now there's death, now we're dead. It's like, just you didn't have to die like this, man. Why don't you go out and uh, play in the green grass outside, maybe? Oh my god, there's a bat. And now I'm on fire. This is why you don't let children play with matches. I just died a horrible dur uh, burning death. Horrible durst to death is what I wanted to say there. Alright, I hardly got to do anything. I died just as fast as I got that leveling orb, which is just stupid. Alright, let's do that again. Hatchet of Heat, Mallet of Light, Mallet of Force, Warhammer, Axe of Heat, Clean Spears. You know, that's like an okay character too, so I feel even dumber for having done that. Well, Axe of Heat's pretty good. We've got like a whole heat kind of theme going with this character. So yeah, four health. Alright. Kind of makes up for last time, we just had like the one. So this is, that last thing wasn't even like my trial run. I usually do like a one trial run and then we do a, a daily or something like that. That wasn't even that. That was like a, hello, good morning, oh, goodbye. Uh, you just popped in to say hello and now you're gone back down below. You know, that kind of thing. Uh, or probably don't stand in the, the poison for that long. There we go. All right, first of all, let's eat the ball of slime. Let's eat the ball of levels. And let's level the levels of levels. There we go. Free run. Back to where we were. Literally one sec ago. Let's do... I'm too good. Oh, I'm too good. I scared the crap out of that rat, who is now going to have to pay. Yep, that's how you go. I have no shield this time. What is this, this water stuff going on? I don't remember seeing stuff like this before. Also, there's a teleport destination right here. So, to be honest, if I ended up falling into that teleport trap, I wouldn't feel too bad about it come out in a position where, honestly, I'd be roughly about as good as I uh, was anywhere else. Alright, so that's nothing, that's nothing. This we've got to head into Tricks and Trappery land over to the left. Uh, we do have a skull, which is cool. I'm going to stow that for now. Oh, maybe get that off of the pressure plate. Would be great. Alright. Here, eat, eat that. I didn't actually realize that the ball of slime would keep the pressure plate depressed like that. Alright, just want to grab this off the wall. Oh, I did not. There we go. Okay, we want to go over the edge and immediately duck. It sounds easy, but it isn't as easy getting the controls to cooperate every single time. Uh, okay, so what am I going to do with this hollow star? Because I still don't know... All right, let's be. Uh, let's start a new character. I didn't like that one anyway. Everybody knows that. Uh, messy eater sounds pretty terrible. Messy eater sounds pretty terrible. Bad swimmer is not that bad, but who cares? Hates daggers, hammer, mallet of heat. Hates swords. Four and three. I might roll with a hammer of heat in this case. Runic Quirus, uh, Warhammer of light. Yeah, I really don't want messy eater though. Eat Swords Bad Swimmer feels like it's setting me up, though. Because I'm going to end up needing a sword. Yeah, let's just do it anyway. Sit and try and pick over this stuff. So this has been, like, the worst train wreck of a beginning of an episode in a long time. Let's see if we can not instantly die again. Well, maybe it wasn't instant last time, but it wasn't, uh, it wasn't good either. So is the, the trick is, like, you give me, uh... 
a leveling orb pretty quickly, and then you take it all back away. Is that what I need to get used to here? Alright. I don't even necessarily feel like that second one when I died was, like, all that big of a deal either. It was just sort of like a, a poor jump. The positioning wasn't quite right. Oh, we got an alley. Come on! Again, same deal. Breastplate of the Snake End of Reflection. Well, um... Snake End of Reflection. Does that send damage back in the other direction? I'll put it on, just to... You know, sate my curiosity, I guess. See if I live long enough to get any usage out of it. Uh, maybe just hop up there. Yep, I was aware that that... <laughs> oh, come on. Why is this world so deadly? Just want to live for five seconds. Oh, good. This is just what I needed. Goodbye. Decapitated. Alright, three deaths in... Six minutes. Awesome. Okay, I have to not I have to not get stressed about this. This is the way the world works. It's a scary world. And it's here to beat you down until you just can't handle it anymore. Mm, Mallet of Light hates swords. Try again. Two and two. No, no, thank you very much. Stick of force. Venomous Halberd. These are all really bad. I ate all of these. Okay, Dagger of Force, that's a start. Smooth Partisan, Machete of Light, Venomous Axe. Dagger of Force, I guess, because we've got Sneaky on top of it, so maybe Sneaky plus Dagger might work for me. Man, I didn't even get to the freaking first leveling orb on that last one. Slantern, like, doesn't pop or anything like that, so that's good to know. Okay, we're going to have to do some fighting here. I don't have a shield. And it looks like this is actually the only way I can go right now. So yeah, we're going to have to deal with this. Well, I could also be sneaky, which is what I just did. Do a little sneakeroo and maybe pop... You're freaking kidding me! Oh my god, and now I'm going to end up poisoned. I saw that spell book. I wanted to test out this potion on something. Maybe like a bat would work. Oh, it's Regenerate. Oh, I wish I knew about that. Alright, let's pop on down here. Did something get harder? This just seems ridiculously hard today. I don't know, I'm just having, I'm having lousy luck, apparently. Alright, we're gonna do that. Oh, hello. And goodbye. Okay, got a skull. We could do a leap and attack, or we could do a sneak away. These are all options for us. Skull's not gonna hit me in the head, right? I don't think that's a thing. Oh, this is just silly. Just kind of beat up that bat a little at a time. How sneaky am I exactly? Well, apparently very sneaky. Oh. Oh. No. <laughs> Tricked him. Uh, Verdant Potion is cool plus thick. Oh, this one sees me right away. Alright, well, uh, maybe do a dumb thing here and... Oh, no, it wasn't a dumb thing, thankfully. Alright, I like the Force po or force Dagger, that's pretty cool. Ate the Grumble Corpse, it might have been cold, but, you know, every, everybody likes a Corpsicle on occasion. I like my special weapon for now, I think I'm gonna roll with that. Uh, we'll get rid of the Corpse and take a Pink Potion, test it out on whatever I find. Or just let it fall into the water, that's also an option. Alright, goodbye, Potion. Thank you to Orb of Leveling, by the way, for not sinking into the water. I greatly value that quite a bit. How beautiful. And we've got another potion of ice that I can use at my discretion. As well as another one of these stars that I keep running into so often. So I'm supposed to, like, fill it with different types of attributes, I guess. It's like life and dark and... Yeah, I need to figure out, like, what I'm doing with those. Oh, oh. Hey, you get out of the way. Okay, good enough. We've lived through one floor. At least I can say I've lived through one floor today. Is that another potion of ice? Oh, no, this is pink potion. That was the other color. What are you? 
Not sure what it did. Okay, well, it seems to have killed it, unless that was just me hitting it. I'm not quite sure there either. Eat the balls. Take the skulls. Um, maybe use another magic move. What do we have? Wizard throw, magic blast, whirlwind, regenerate. Well, I've already got to regenerate, but what does this do? Raises my maximum charges to three if I use it a second time? Discovered accidentally and summon an ethereal hand to grab and throw enemies. That seems kind of fun, actually. Maybe let's try a wizard throw. I'm going to experiment and do something a little different today. Now, hopefully I'll get to use it. Oh, no, don't use it on the bat, you idiot. I knew better than that. All right, well, the bat's dead. Sweet parkour roll there. Oh, oh, you sc you stole my skull? Not a big deal. All right, let's see if we can... How do I do a... Oh, the wizard grab, you've got to, like, be facing them. I guess it's sort of like a line of sight thing, maybe. So I tried it and just, like, didn't do anything. Ah, uh, okay. That's kind of funny. It lets you just kind of pick them up and throw them around like a rag doll. All charges plus one is what I got from that. Good machete and shoes. Goodbye. Oh, I should probably open this chest first. What is this? Oh, a shield! Wonderful. That is wonderful. You know what I'm talking about. I almost just threw my freaking potion at that. Oh! Oh, it snapped it, but I don't think it's going to burn my potion. It's just going to burn the crap out of that rat. And that's okay. Rats were meant to burn. And so are bats. No, it's poisoned! Why would I eat that? Oh my god, why am I so... I just don't think... Oh, right, that gives me my health back anyway, so I think I just wasted a regeneration there. Oh, I'm playing so sloppy. Let's take a luck and an int. Such wonders. And maybe just head back away from here, because I'm not a, a huge fan of this area. That's okay, I've still got more regeneration potential. So I didn't ruin everything yet. Oh, why did this mushroom just fly out of there? Better not question it. It was probably the wind. Okay, we haven't seen Death's Blue Torches yet, which is great. We haven't gotten a Grumble Cave yet, which is also pretty good. Not a huge fan of this area, but what is this key all about? You make me quite curious. What do I do with you? Alright, let's put down the skull, shake out this chest, get a Venomous Robe... Which is a plus to strength, but minus to defense, plus to minus. So it's like a magic-oriented robe. Oh, there's this, the lock for that key. How sneaky can I be? Sneaky enough, evidently. I'll take another strength. Oh, that kind of like messes up the whole way that that works, doesn't it? Focus strike. I like throw harder, maybe that would be useful. All right, so let's switch over to our key and see what this is all about. If I can get in there. Um, open? There we go. Ooh, runic jagged axe, and it summoned, like, a crap load of bats, which I kind of hate. But let's just... Oh, my God, don't do it. Don't... Don't get killed by bats. It's not worth it. Life's too short. I, why can't I shut the door? You know what? It doesn't matter. Let the bat... Oh my god, bat! You've got to be kidding me! What is this guy doing down here? Look at him. He looks like he's got a whole agenda and a whole, like, head space about him. There's a skeleton right there with him. I don't trust that for a freaking second. Oh, we got a ghostly tutor over there, too, which I need to get in touch with. Eat some goo, and oh, more play friends over here. Oh no, oh, this is bad, this is bad. I don't like his spear. I don't like that we're in poison either. Oh goodness, get out of there. They're all pissed and they don't even know why yet. Where do they find out uh, Jeb over here just bit the big one? Oh, 
Oh, we're busy. I'm doing work. You're freaking bats. Freaking interrupting me every three seconds. Okay, hi. Ghost. Uh, let's teach me all the things. What are all the things we've got? Sword skill. Well, we're kind of leaning in an axy direction right now. Uh, what can I improve about myself? Become a bruiser. I kind of like becoming a bruiser, actually. And also, uh, waste knot is fantastic for the extra healing potential. Really don't need the other one. Uh, what do I have? Two learning points? So use that. And we'll use that. I don't tend to get as much out of the uh, weapon upgrades as I probably should, unfortunately. Oh, this is like right under me. I just didn't go for it. Oh, well, whatever. Kill that. I might as well carry it with me. Might be able to goo somebody. Sometimes that comes in handy. And I didn't check out this corpse either. You've got a very speedy, smooth spear, huh? Alright, good to know. Not so much leaning in the smooth spear direction right now, but... You know, if that ends up being the case, I will hit you up. We'll get your info, we'll, uh, we'll talk. We'll have my catacomb kids contact your catacomb kids. Let's not get caught yet. That didn't really put me in a much better position, to be honest. Oh, what in the hell? What was that move? Did you see that? It scared me so badly in a way that games don't scare me because I didn't expect that at all. No, it was just the wind. Just the wind, I said. Why am I so bad? Guys, don't tell anybody. If anybody hears how bad I am at this game, they're going to they're going to unsubscribe from my YouTube channel like that. It was only the wind! These are the most incompetent kids. It's them and me. It's both of us. We're both responsible for this. Uh, I want to grab this guy. I want to throw him real hard as soon as I get up. Ready? Yeah! Goodbye. <laughs> Freaking garbage lord. You're done. No, he's fine. He's just like, well, yeah, I don't know what just happened, but I'll, I'll live down here now. Everything's going to be okay in this direction. Uh, I'm trying to do the, yeah, that, but like, yeah, more like that. Oh, this is going to get me killed. 100%. I'm super not going to get out of this corner. That's not helping much either. Could I like hand myself? That would be even better. Just grab myself and throw myself off. I just can't. Oh my God. I'm so, I'm in a, such a bad position right here. This isn't even the end. Oh my God. Where am I? The exit is all the way in the bottom left corner. I went all this way and I didn't even need to. How silly. Okay. F oh, f oh my god. All I wanted to do there was fall. This seems impossible. Okay, let's do the daily because I feel more ready than ever. This is going to be a shit show. Are you ready for this? Oh, hates hammers and loud versus clumsy messy eater. Good with daggers of a damaged sigh and five versus halberd with four. I'd rather be loud and have a little less health but have a weapon that I'm confident has range. Chainmail of empathy. Yeah, I think this is probably the better option. I don't really use hammers that often anyway, so... I feel like my view distance is like really small or something too. That's starting stats, I guess, or something. Oh, right, I have this. I wasn't even looking at classes. Uh, all right, let's store that. Oh, careful. Don't want to get ahead of ourselves yet. We've only just started here. Good dagger of sensing. So, like, immediately you can give up your halberd for a dagger. Well, this could be the end already. Oh, my God. Look who's here. Thank freaking goodness that went better than I usually have that go. Good Spear is a totally positive improvement, so let's take Good Spear. you have any slimes I can, like, throw some stuff? I've got a little surplus of potions here. Oh, it was only the wind. Shh. Nothing on you. I uh, guess I'll eat the grumble as long as you're not poisoned. Oh, my freaking goodness. Speedy Spear! I feel like this is not as strong, even though it's supposed to be. I like the halberd better. Alright, what do you have? You got some shoes? I've got shoes already. No need. Okay, I'm gonna eat your whole family. I hope you're prepared. 
No, I'm not gonna eat your. I no, don't eat the bones. This is not KFC. And what do you have? We've got a sharp short sword, which is a little too alliteratory for me right now. All right, three for three. Pick the meat off the bones. Check out the situation. It gave me like potion vision for a second. Oh right. What do you have? Smooth stiletto. Plus to int, plus to speed. Uh, but it's so freaking short. I really do value that that single body distance between the two of us there. I think that will make the difference. I'm just going to become like a potion mule for now. Uh, probably need to leave one of them just a little bit behind. Just so I don't end up screwing myself here if I have to do some kind of combat maneuvering. Put this rock over here. Pop this shroom. And Thelma, I hope you're ready because uh, you're about to get... Well, you know what? Maybe you won't get speedy today. Maybe you'll get some defense. You can really use that, actually. And we'll do... We'll do Int. I think might benefit you quite a bit as well. The degree with which I was having trouble navigating was uh, kind of stifling a little bit. All right, so I'm going to try and get a 5 combo on only eating grumbles right now. I don't know if this will help me, but I assume it will. I know this is the absolute most requested thing that I play differently by doing is uh, kill and eat and combos. It's a very, very popular thing. And I am surprisingly reticent about it for some reason because I'm kind of lazy and also didn't think that it really uh, gave as much effect as everyone seems to say it does. Oh, probably don't want to go in there. But this is okay. We can hit these guys up. Don't! No, oh, no, no, no. Oh, I got away. Okay, everybody burn down there. I don't mind as long as I'm not in it. Okay, some nice lukewarm slimes around. No big deal. Everything's fine. Absolutely everything is fine. And what do you have? Really gotta watch those fire sources. They're, they're quite a problem for me when I keep doing stuff like that. Somehow I ended up with a skull instead of the uh, potion I was trying to sling. There we go. Health potion. Okay, now I know. That's a good one to know about, actually, if you're going to know about anything. Moving on. Hmm, there's another grumble for my... Uh, eating collection, I guess you could call it. Strange concept to have an eating collection. I don't really understand what that is. Or why that even really is a thing. I mean... It's, not, it's a very gamified uh, concept, but it's not really anything that comports with much reality. Yeah, there we go. This is this is an okay situation for burning, because I don't need to be over there. I might grab this guy, though. The ball of slime can come in handy. Tricking traps and such. Tripping traps, tricking traps. Whatever you want to do to your traps is fine. I'm not going to judge. Let's see what's in this chest. And spike large shield. Well, I don't have a shield right now, so... That would be an objective improvement, as long as I can remember to use it at any point. Potion of Poison! Oh, and look, we've got another Grumble friend. Don't we always have another one of those? You get on that pressure plate, and you like it. Oh, my arm is gone. Hmm. <sighs> Today is not my day for Catacomb Kids, evidently. I've had some rough days, but this is, like, nearly bottom of the barrel, I have to say. I'm not proud of this performance, and I'm not proud of this video <laughs> in general. But you know what? I'm going to roll with it because it will serve as a low watermark that I can then use to put up against myself later. And then if I ever get better, I can say, look how bad I was when I was in episode 20, whatever this was. Right? And then we'll go back and we'll all laugh and we'll have a snicker and we'll go tee hee. And that'll be, uh, that'll be the turning point. Yeah, you gotta be able to laugh at yourself a little bit, especially when you're being this bad. Well, I know this is a difficult game, and I know that, uh, mistakes were made. Sloppy play, perhaps, also recovering from a headache. Probably a bit of a factor in there, but usually that doesn't influence me that much. Either way, um, not my proudest moments. But anyway, I will leave us for this one. 
Um, I'll be back again with more Catacomb Kids. I am trying to get a bunch of these out because I really do want to play some more of it, and also it is very good for uh, for filling up my uploads while I'm away on uh, vacation in Ireland seeing my girlfriend. So, you know, it all works out. You guys want to see some Catacomb Kids, I want to play it, and we, uh, we've reached that symbiosis that I always love. So I will see you for the next one. Thank you for watching as always. Feel free to leave your critiques here if you'd like. Just be gentle. I understand uh, where I'm at in the world right now. So I will see you next time. Have a lovely night, everybody. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back for the Catacomb Kids. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.